designing for a space as large as this, uh, not just about the buildings, it's not about the built form, and it's not about the landscape, and it's not about the interiors. It's bringing all of those things together where you're looking at the needs of the occupants, whether they're residents in a hospital, residents in a senior's living apartment or the like. And at the same time, it is how they utilize those spaces between buildings as well is just as important. And also the public facing, the urban design, uh, how that uh, impacts that context uh, over time. So it's bringing together of all those three aspects is actually quite significant to make sure that we've got a successful project and one that stands the test of time. And it's the negative spaces, especially on a site like this, that's quite, quite a rich history of um, heritage fabric and also landscaping how do we then not only work with that but enhance it and that's where we rely on our co-designers to be able to guide us the architects in, in terms of um, that holistic uh, design solution yeah I think that's important to, to note really working together to, to elevate the, the functions of the building and bring the uses outside um, the well-being um, aspects of um, working on a, on a facility like this um, are numerous and you know when we can work hand in hand we think we get you know a, a, a far better outcome for, for residents and visitors alike. And I think that relationship that we've had over the past uh, several years at the very least where we've uh, as two, practice, two design practices collaborated together um, and have delivered on that, shared awards together means that we, we can rely on each other and we know what we all bring. We know our strengths, we know our weaknesses and we know when to challenge each other and we also know how to kind of you know, bring the best out of each other.